What's up everybody, this is Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for another episode of Evergreen Gardens. Uh, been a little while since I posted one of these, I think we need to do these a little bit more often. I want to get these Let's Plays um, going here and, and get through the rest of this park. Um, I do apologize for the, uh, the extended, uh, I don't know, <laughs> break, I guess, from, from this little series here but we're back and uh, in the last one we built this white wooden roller coaster right here pretty decent little roller coaster um, yeah, medium sized roller coaster I guess haven't built anything too crazy in this park yet I do want to do you know a big finale roller coaster maybe in the uh, in the next episode but today there's a couple uh, other things that I wanted to take care of a few rides I wanted to build, and a couple interesting things, or, well, not that interesting, <laughs> but a couple of problems that I run into um, that you will see later on in the episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, anyways, we do have our marketing campaign running for this roller coaster. Um, our park is at max... I think probably the max amount of money that we will uh, charge for it. I did want to check something. I, I noticed in some of the forums as I was looking through Roller Coaster Tycoon, just uh, looking up, you know, information about the game, that um, s somewhere something said that if um, your park's price is the same amount as a guest has money, they might not to get in so I just wanted to check out the guests and make sure they're all paying to get in the park and that no one's really turning away um, but as far as I can see none of them are, are turning away so I think we're okay there I think they might have taken that out of the classic version here so we should be good all right let's get into building our first ride today so the first ride I want to build is a log flume I think or um, yeah that's what that's what we're gonna go with is a log flume I think I'm gonna build it on the other side of the white roller coaster here and kind of incorporate it into the lake just a little bit um, I also do notice this little hill that we have here so I think I want to build the station platform underneath that but a problem that I'm noticing it right now is that if you look closely, we have guests over on the set sides of the park that we do not want them. And I notice that there's one little pathway here that guests are getting through. And that's one of the problems with a park like this. You're just going to miss these little things and it's going to cause some problems. So I'm going to put a no entryway sign right there for now. Hopefully the guests will make their way back into the park eventually. Um, we might have to guide them along the way. But first, let's build the log flume here. So I thought about putting the station platform um, over the lake. But what I do decide to do is do an underground station platform on this little hill here. And I thought that worked out okay. Uh, looks kind of nice to have some underground features once in a while even though if it, it's just like a little 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 bit of your of your ride I know log flumes aren't the most exciting rides to build but I really do enjoy them they're one of my most um, one of the most fun water rides I think to build in the game very relaxing to build not difficult by any means not a lot of options or anything but fun to see what you can put together and see what kind of ratings you can get out of these things so I enjoy building them and they are a classic as well one of the first rides you learn how to build in RCT1 is the log flume um, especially for custom rides I, I think they're you know a really good stepping stone into building bigger roller coasters because they're like I said, they're they're just smaller and they're not difficult to build, and um, you know they they teach you 
a little bit about you know your customize customization options in the game and um, y you know they teach you about how you need to have a, a long ride length in order to get better ratings and and all that stuff you're gonna find out a lot when you build log flumes and the best thing about them is making a really big uh, hill at the end and then having the guests splash and, and uh, get all wet. All right, let's wrap this thing up here, and then we'll uh, we'll test it. And we'll get some some ratings going for it. We'll open it up, and then we'll take care of a few other things here in the park as well. Log flumes obviously are one of the more painful rides to watch test since they're just so slow, um, especially on those hill lifts there. They only travel about two miles per hour. If you're on some reverser tables here, I always like to do that on my biggest hills for some reason. I just think it'd be super fun to go down this backwards. And then we put it in a reverser table at the end as well so that the guests go back into the station platform facing forward. We're also almost um, completely paid our loan back, so it's always good. Always a nice little bonus, um, especially in March year four, as we're, uh, we're going to be wrapping our, up our goal pretty soon here. All right, a 5.06. It's a pretty decent rating there. Uh, just shy of a high excitement rating. So hopefully after putting in some, uh, or putting in our pathways here, might bump it up a little bit, up to a higher rating. But there we go, we've, we've got the log flume done. I did want to just check on a few rides here where um, they're taking a while for the mechanics to get there. I just wanted to make sure that the mechanics weren't stuck anywhere. Looks like we are okay for the time being. As you can see, a few guests are stuck back there. We're going to take care of that in just a little bit. I plan on building a ride over there um, anyways, so that should help us get those guests back into the normal flow of the park. And then we also have all these guests stuck over here. And before they get too angry, I think I need to take care of these guests. It looks like they're all trying to get to this little section over here. So if I just build this one little piece of pathway for a little bit, that should be fine. Um, the only problem with that is that handymen and mechanics can get through there. And it makes me have to clean up staff, which is just a little bit unfortunate. 
But that should take care of the problem. I'll, I'll let that um, let that go for a little bit. Get some of these tired guys who want to leave the park. Um, give them a little bit of a boost for their, where they want to go. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but you really don't want guests um, who want to leave the park stuck anywhere because that really drops your park rating if they want to leave but they can't and that makes sense because you could just trap a bunch of guests and complete your you know, guest quota goal really easily if you just you know didn't let your guests leave All right, that should all be about taken care of now. Probably should have sped through that part. <laughs> I apologize for that, but let's um, finish this up and then let's build our next ride. Okay, let's get into it. So the next ride that I want to build is a roller coaster. Um, I've got a few options here. And I have not built a corkscrew roller coaster yet, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, the corkscrew roller coaster. So let's go ahead and build one of those. And I do think about building some uh, throw rides as well. We'll we'll add in some of those in a little bit. But for now, let's go with the corkscrew roller coaster. And as I look at Cobra here, I think about doing a reverse incline design. So let's let's do that. That'll be a little bit unique and also not too tedious to build. Um, and it's also fairly inexpensive as well. You can get pretty creative with these reverse incline roller coasters. Just remember not to make them too long because whatever you build, the roller coaster has to come back through. So when you think about this, you're building, you know, two 80 foot hills at the beginning. You're building two vertical loops right there. You're building two half loops right here. You're building two half corkscrews as, as you go, you know, as you go through each of these. So every little move that you do is going to double the um, the impact of your excitement rating, but at the same time double the impact of your intensity rating. And, and at a certain point, you know those end up negatively infect affecting your ratings. So we'll make this hill 80 feet high as well. Just to match the starting hill height. And now we should be able to test this. These are pretty fun to build and play around with. Makes everything just fine there, doesn't struggle too much coming back. So we should be good. I do like that design. Fairly unique for one of these reverse incline roller coasters. And some pretty decent ratings there.
All right, I'm going to kind of speed through some of this stuff here. Um, we do pay back our loan all the way in just a moment here. And then I want to throw in, well, I want to fix these pathways up a little bit, allow guests to get in to this roller coaster. Also allowing some of the guests who are stuck back there to be able to leave the park if they want, or you know, just get around the park as well. And we'll open up this pathway as well. That should help reduce some crowding out of the front. And then I'm also going to throw in um, some restroom or, or some shops and stalls, restroom, all that stuff that we need over here. And then at the top of the hill, I think I'm going to put a motion simulator as we just researched one of those fairly recently. So we'll throw that up here. And there we go. All right, guys. I think that's pretty much it for today. So um, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, give me a like if you like this episode. I enjoy making these Let's Plays. They're pretty fun. Just you know, building, building how I would build. So I'm showing you guys exactly pretty much what I would do in, uh, in any of these scenarios. I'd probably build a little bit more roller coasters in my Let's Plays than what I actually would build in, in uh, you know, if I was just playing through, just because it's more exciting to watch you build roller coasters, you know, but it definitely makes for some good looking parts. I really like the look at this of course the roller coaster right here, actually. I, I, uh, I like the way it, it covers the pathways and everything, but Anyways, again, thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see in the next episode. Any requests for roller coasters or anything. I would like to, to build um, a monster roller coaster, I think, for the finale of this, of this park, which should be the next episode. We are in June here. So not too much time left on this park. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.